Hello everyone, JCYP here, and I'm doing a Dark Souls 2 tier list. I'm going to do this with probably every Dark Souls game, but probably not. I might do this for other games as well with their bosses, but without further ado, we're going to get started. We're going to start with The Last Giant, obviously. Uh... I put him at I would put him at C tier. Good starter boss, also because it's like Agmandala, even though Bloodborne came out I think after Dark Souls two. But uh, it's a good starter boss I would say, and a good starting place. Pursuer. Mm hmm. Would he go into B tier or would he go into C tier? To be honest, I feel like he would also go. Mm, I feel like he could also go into C tier, but I feel like he would he be a B tier. I feel like he's B tier, honestly. Rune Sentinels, for me personally, are D tier. Because I found them to be the worst just because three against one. Are you kidding me? I did basically my first time playing the entire game with summons, but whenever I played DS3 and Dark Souls 1, why did I say DS3? It's Dark Souls 3 now. Uh, bosses weren't a problem for me. Dark Souls 2, since it was the first game I ever played for Dark Souls, it was hard. Moving on to Dragon Rider. He is also C tier, but I'd say he's better than the uh, Last Giant. I would say the same for Dragon Rider, but I wouldn't say he's better than Dragon Slayer. I would say the same for old Dragon Slayer, but he's not better than Dragon Rider. Flexile Sentry. Sorry if, I, if you feel a little rushed here. Flexile Sentry, I feel like, is another D tier. But for the Gargoyles, that cannot be same said. Because they are just E tier. I did not like the Gargoyle fight. It's just five Gargoyles from Dark Souls 1. Listen, I know this was the first game I ever played. I should be listen, looking at it, at it through my perspective of my first time playing, but new. Because everything be like at least D tier to A S tier. And if this were old me right now, well, we're not going to talk about old me yet because I would tell you what would be S tier. <laughs> Moving on. Lost Center. A great C tier. Well, he, he, he... It's like I'm more so basing it off design. We should also be basing it off of fighting. So, But I find his fight to be... Can I drag him? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, for some reason I just couldn't drag him there. <laughs> These guys, another E tier. Though I find them better. Better than the Gargoyles. I would say. Because, I mean, normally I do not like enemies in big room. Well, I mean, I know there's definitely to be an F tier here. Maybe we should get the F tier out of the way. Nah, nah, nah. We'll do it later. <laughs> there's only going to be one F tier in this slip, by the way. You are a C tier for me. Nah, no D tier. Except I think you're better than the Flexile. Oh, Covetous Demon. Another E tier. Like, I did not like the fight that much, honestly. It's just a very easy fight. I mean, he does have some special things about him. Like, he eats the guys that are stuck in the pots. But also, he can eat you and take all your armor. But moving on to Mitha. The Baneful Queen. 
Why is she near the eight tier? <laughs> uh, Mitha, mm, let me think about this for a bit. Let's see, Mitha, I feel like would be B tier at most. Mm, I mean, we'll move some people up and some people back down. Why? Get off of that. Uh, we could go with... No, stop moving her. Get back. I think she is... Actually, nah. She... I feel like... I'll put her... I'll put her here. First A tier. I like Smelter Demon, honestly. Cool design, cool fight. Moving on. Also, because he sticks the sword into his stomach, it creates fire sword. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this fella. For his design, I give him a topsy. I would say he is probably more worse than Lawsoner, but probably not because Lawsoner is just. They're both like the opposite. One is slow and you just have to hit his hands, the other is quick and dodges too much. Moving on. The scorpion -ness. I don't really know how to say her name, <laughs> honestly. Uh, she's D tier. Actually, uh, there's going to be a lot of C tier, let's be honest. Though, if we had another... I'd say she's... Top of D tier, at least. Actually, I want to switch her and him around. You, though. Get out of here. I will hate you for entirety of life. But you're not as bad as the last boss. You're just bad because you're too freaking hard because of the small rats. You by yourself, easiest boss. Not easiest, but you know. I think we know where this one's going. It's not like the bone skeleton fight. Because the bone skeleton fight is different compared to this one. How is it different? The bone skeleton, well, obviously, it's just a bunch of enemies in the room. But the skeleton lords are enemies that don't show up again. You only get regular skeleton. These guys are just all enemies. Like, I mean, literally just all enemies. But now, this guy is probably as good as the Balrog, honestly. Almost as good. Giant bosses, good. Humanoid bosses, better. Rat. You're better than your brother, though. Let's be honest. Again, another A tier. And this is a, another B tier for me. So, reasons. I like duo fights, honestly. This guy, though, is just an amalgamation. <laughs> amalgamation, yes. Another B tier. Except he's, he's top of B tier. Get at the top of B tier right now. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna have to say this one's a D tier. Nah, I'd have to go mm, probably bottom of C tier as well. The problem I have with this one is just attacks are very slow and very easy to dodge. Just like this guy, except he has a better design. <laughs> I like him, Knights. He's at the top of B tier for me. And he's gonna be like that this entire time. This guy is just a regular enemy. We find like he's just a regular enemy in the next area. We just kill him, go to the next area, ten more of him. We're gonna put the dragon guardian right there at the bottom of D tier. I find it better than all these down here, but it's not beating anyone else. This fight. I'd say it's probably at the top. Yeah, I'd say it's at the top of A tier so far. Because, again, I like duo fights. 
but there's bosses that are going to be better. We haven't had a single S tier, though. As for you, though, you're him with a sword, but you're cool. So I might, I might have to put you at, like, the bottom of B tier. You, though, I just hate you because you're damaged, okay? Let's be honest. Does too much damage. He hits you once, you're dead. But he is cheesable, which I've learned to cheese. As for Dark Lurker, I'd say he is also an A tier. I was going to say these guys are just going to be like that the entire time, but it looks like they're not. Because he is literally just, he splits himself in half. But Vendrick, if he were in his prime and we were fighting him, let's be honest, he would kill us. But that is not the case. I'd have to say he's better than you two. Probably even better than you two. No. Yeah, I'd say he's better than... I'd say he has the top end of C tier, honestly. I mean, again, he's like her. But the thing is, his attacks are quicker. But another thing is to take note of is that you can just, like, stay up on his, like, backside on his... Would that be his left or right? Hold on. Like his left side. The side that doesn't have the sword hand. And he's just easy to beat. Nassandra. Why am I putting it up here? Uh, the fight is basically just once she summons the orbs, kill the orbs. Which is pretty annoying to deal with. So I'll probably, I wouldn't say she's better than everyone here. I'd probably say Be Fendrick's better than her, honestly. Even though he's just old, hollow guy. Hollow undead. This guy, though, is at the bottom of A tier. I will admit, he he's just a good fight. Actually, I feel like he's better than Rotten, honestly. But I wouldn't say he... I also say beat Smelter Demon, but he wouldn't beat through a Watcher and Defender. Or Dark Lurker. Okay, well... I was going to originally just put him in F tier. But they're a pretty good fight, mainly because they're hard. But it's three NPCs, and again, they're annoying. Because... The, it's just mainly just because the archers are annoying and knocks you down all the time. Man, I'm trying to heal over here. You're just knocking me down. Why? Uh, she summons Velstat, which I give her points for that. So I put her at the bottom of B tier. Maybe she didn't summon. I feel like I'd have to put her in C tier, honestly. Just because it would feel like a knockoff version of Nassandra. Which is why I put her here. Because she's better than her sister, but, again, they're close to each other. Except one summons undead skeletons, Velstats, and pig. And the other just summons small orbs. That's the difference. Sin, I like dragon fights, but I don't like them that much. I don't like them, I like them to an extent. So, I'm, I'm going to have to put him at least in B tier. I'd say he's better than Quilana, probably. Probably also better than Giant Lord. And probably even better than the Twin Dragon Riders and Pursuer. But, I wouldn't say he is the best. I wouldn't say he's better than the two knights over here. And as for... Oh yeah, the blue smelter demon, or the age smelter demon as we like to call him. He's just smelter demon, but blue and has delayed attacks. Which is why I can't rank him any higher than Pursuer. That's the only like difference they have. One it has blue fire, does more damage, and does delayed attacks, but there's really no difference. But moving on to Fume Knight. He's the first S tier. But followed up by the second S tier as well. Those two are just like super good bosses. Plus, I like Samurai. Let's be honest. Samurai are just good in general. 
unless you're a For Honor player and you like Vikings or something, then that's, I guess that's just a difference. But those, this guy is just sick because he fought Velstat as well. How did Velstat win, let's be honest? I mean, if we're talking about the past, Velstat does have a chime, so maybe he was able to use miracles. So I'll give him that. Ava, the king's pet, I'm going to have to give him the lowest beat here. But there's someone worse than him. Luden Zelen. Bottom D tier. Because they just hit Alva, but times two, basically. That's like the only difference here. But the best boss in this game, I find to be the best, is obviously. Uh, you did not see that. Is obviously. Burn Ivory King. I almost just forgot his name. <laughs> I haven't played the game that long. But I have to say he's the best. His own men followed him to death. I don't think, well, eh, I was going to be like, I don't think Vendrix men even did that. But, you know, Velstan is like his most loyal, loyal companion. The other guy just got freaking exiled. <laughs> or Rain, to be exact. Got exiled. But yeah, that's basically it for the tier list. I'll see everyone in the next video, which is going to be the last part of the walkthrough, which I actually had recorded for quite the long while. But I just never really ended up uploading it to YouTube. I was like, okay, I'm just going to take a break from YouTube. And I was like, oh, I'm just going to upload this today. Didn't upload this today. Didn't. And just still didn't upload it. But that's why I'm uploading this video. To let people know that I'm still uploading. So I'll see everyone in the next video.